Next question is from Gretz123. Is there an ideal ratio of strength you should have between your bench, deadlifts, and squats? I can bench my body weight, but I can't do that much more in deadlifts or squats. Okay, so normally what you'll find is that you can bench a certain amount of weight, you could squat more than that, and you could deadlift more than that. So typically what it looks like is your 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 bench is the lowest then it goes squat, then it goes deadlift. Is that true? Yeah, for I most thought, people. I thought it's interchangeable with the squat and the deadlift. No, some people, um, are, are, and this is not most, some people can squat more than they can deadlift, but it's much more common that someone can deadlift yeah. okay. more well, than they squat. That was definitely me for a while. I mean, that's just because I didn't deadlift. Though. Right, you know, right. I didn't have the skill of it yet. Right, right. And, 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 every, and every once in a while, you see someone who can bench a ton, and you can see the way that they're built. There's big rib cage, short arms, and yeah. you know, kind of like the, right. the power lifter, like the guys who could bench like crazy, but yeah, they're yeah, deadlift yeah. and squat. Right, right. Okay, so here's a good number for a guy. This is a good, I guess, strength goal that's probably attainable for most men if they train consistently. Being able to bench uh, your own... Uh, body weight, uh, being able to squat about one and a quarter your body weight, and then being able to deadlift about one and a half times your body weight. That's a good goal that I think most men, if they train consistently, uh, could be able to accomplish. Now, if you want to be like, you know, I want to be super strong. Well, you know, if you bench like one and a half times your body weight, squat, you know, two times your body weight, deadlift two and a half times your body weight. Now you're starting to get pretty damn, pretty damn uh, strong. For a woman, this is a little bit more difficult for me to, to figure out. Um, I'm trying to think what would be a good number. You're probably looking at something like half body weight uh, to maybe you know three-quarter bit body weight bench, squat, probably body weight, uh, and deadlift, probably body weight in a quarter or something like that. I, what, I remember um, T Nation had yeah, a really I good- that. Yeah, T Nation had a really good article that was like- They had a whole chart. They did. They had a whole chart of this, and maybe we can, we can look it up and then hopefully attach it to the show notes. It was, it, and it had both men and women. It and showed it, you like, like elite. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, it said, good yeah, it said like bad, good, very good, or whatever. There's like yeah. three or four categories of what what Sal's referring to for both men and women, like where they should be on this. I thought that was a pretty good, accurate chart to whatever it is. For as a trainer, the, I would say I'm a, a, where you're at, Sal. Is if I if I had a woman that could do almost her her weight in bench, that's phenomenal. Yeah. And as long as she was squatting and deadlifting her weight and above, we're doing pretty damn. You are. Yeah, we're doing pretty damn good. So, uh, oh, there is that it. So this is okay. So male. Okay, here's what they have for. Uh, see, they didn't. They don't do this by body weight. Oh well, actually, they did. So for they said for a man, decent for a squat is 315 pounds or one and a half times your body weight. Good was 405 pounds or two times your body weight, and great was. What is that? 465 or two and a half times body weight for a squat. For female, it was 95 or 75 to percent, uh, 0.75 your body weight. Good. 155 or one and a quarter your body weight. Great was, what is that? 205 or two times your body weight. But, you know, they're talking to a like a like fitness fanatic audience because those numbers are pretty high. Those like, are, yeah, yeah, that's why I, I Even would, just decent is high on there, I would say. I mean, when you're talking about, okay, the clients that we train, which were average, average person, average person yeah. I wanted, the way I looked at it was rarely ever in their life are they going to have to pick something off the ground that's heavier than them, right? right? Mm -hmm. Or squat something down that's heavier than they are. So as long as they could do their body weight and squatting and deadlifting, I was really happy yeah. with the progress or where we are currently at. Of course, we are trying for more but i would be very impressed or happy with a client that was doing that and then as bench pressing if if i had a guy if he was be able to at least do his body weight and for a girl if she was able to do 50 percent of her body weight to totally. 75 i would yeah. be very happy yeah totally it, it is you know what's interesting too is that you typically will be good at like really good at one in comparison to the other totally so your uh -huh. body type tends to like if you've got long arms and you're kind yeah, of tall it's all your levers that you have yeah you're probably a deadlifter right yeah. you're probably going to be able to if you had you know, short arms kind of stocky mm -hmm. bench press is probably going to be you know uh, what you're better at, better at um i know for me my squat and my bench was you know good uh my deadlift uh, was always great uh they don't match my deadlift was always you know through the roof in comparison to the other two so that's the other thing but here look here here's the thing at the end of the day this is a comp this is a question that's essentially saying uh, how do I compare myself to other people? Yeah. That's a trap. It right. Is. Just be honest with you. That's such a good point, really. Yeah. And that's another thing, too. Like, if I had a client, it was about where we started and totally. where we're at yeah. now. So, even though we're all throwing out these random ass percentages and numbers, you know, if you have been strength training for, you know, months or years and you're better at all those things than what you were before. 
You're in the right. You're heading down the right track. This is a long. This is a uh, long journey, man. 100. percent I threw away all these standards and these like performance, uh, you know, metrics as far as like, oh, here's what somebody your age and your body weight yeah. and all that, because it just it just attracts you from you know like making progress for you individually. Well, especially the numbers that we just looked at. I, uh, Sal, you're right. That that's definitely geared toward the fitness community because if you show that to a person who doesn't lift, they are so <laughs> they're not even close. They're gonna to, get deflated. Yeah, instantly. they're not gonna get close to e- any of those. At no. all, they're going to be way. And it says off. decent. Oh, I'm not decent because I can't squat. I know. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, telling that to your client. What's the quote? Um, comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Right. So, one of the biggest traps in and just in life, but especially in fitness, is comparing yourself uh, to other people. First off, it's a it's not fair. It is not a fair comparison. Everybody is so different, so individual. Uh, different genetics, different diet, different lifestyle, different time that they can spend working out. Their limb, you know, length is different. Their their muscles are very different. Their central nervous system reacts very different. Age different. Hormone differences. It's so unfair to compare yourself to someone else. If you want to compare yourself, which there's nothing wrong with comparison, but if you're going to do this, you know, you've heard apples to apples, right? It'd be like me comparing my, you know, my four by four truck to a a Ferrari for for zero to sixty and being sad that my four by four truck is not as fast as the Ferrari. It's not a fair comparison. If you want to compare, which is fine, at least make it a fair comparison. There's only one fair comparison in fitness. It's you to you yesterday. That's it. Mm-hmm. There is no other. There's nobody else. Not even your twin because they don't even live exactly identical to you. The only fair comparison is you to yourself. So questions like this, yeah, I know we gave out some numbers. Those are super general. Yeah. But to be honest with arbitrary. you, arbitrary. It, it's, been, it's been all over. Like I had clients who – I had a woman that I trained who – she was hypermobile and very lax and she had beat cancer and you know her squatting the bar was a greater accomplishment than the you know 22 year old you know ex football player who I got to squat 405 like that's great but getting her to squat a bar from right. where she came from right oh my god and but still it's not com- it's not fair you yeah. compare yourself to yourself don't compare it to anyone else because you will uh, crush your take your joy right out of your life 